<clears throat> I don't even know what I look like right now. Hey bunnies, welcome to another video. For today's video, we are home from the club. <laughs> Tonight was the grand opening of Club of, no, it's not Club Aura. It's Aura Lounge. Yes, here in, not here, but in Hollywood. What I will say, right, my little outfit, my shirt, like I love my outfit so much. So my shirt, it says Freedom Something from Rainbow. It was $7.99. And then my skirt, <clears throat> me adjust so I'm not flashing anybody. Also from Rainbow, it's like a leather, pink leather, skirt pink leather skirt black rocker tee it's very much my aesthetic and i love it so much the skirt was on clearance for five dollars and i wore my i brought not wore i brought my kate spade trunk or vanity purse and then i wore black pointy toe open toe heels which i don't know where they are right now right okay so that was the outfit for the event i feel like that outfit was perfect it's very much it's not a casual lounge but it's not like a od overly dressed lounge either right so they had a ribbon cutting at six and then you know pause this out after that I got there at 11.30, right? Let's start there. Parking was horrible. Parking was the worst. Parking was the absolute fucking worst, bro. Absolute worst. I was really hoping I could valet, but I didn't see any valet people in front of the building. That fucking sucked. So I had to park, I had to find parking somewhere. I paid $11 for parking. Cause it was ten dollars plus either tax or fees whatever 11 something for parking and then i had to walk to the club that was fine no problem because it was literally behind the building got there cute smelling good looking good you know all that stuff walk in saw my girl pharaoh she was at bar ordered drinks drinks i haven't been to hollywood in a while and the last loss <laughs> the last time i was partying in hollywood i had a husband and he was paying for my drinks but the drink i bought was 22 dollars <laughs> brita when i asked the girl how much is that shot she said 22 dollars Men are cheap, you know, men are cheap, but you already know how I feel about bus prices and club culture. But, got my two drinks. The first drink was very sweet, and I, and it was the, it was, uh, because I was drinking from tequila from before I left the house. I had two tequilas before I left the house. So when I got there, it was on my third cup. By the time I ordered it, it was my third one. And, um... It was a, a melon, it was a melon margarita, but it had, it came with hot sauce and tagine. And I told her I don't want no hot sauce, no tagine. So she gave it to me without the spicy stuff. And it was very sweet. It was good though. It was refreshing, but it was kind of sweet. The second drink I had was a Casamigos Blanco with Red Bull. She poured that one very nicely. Like... But can't feel it. <laughs> that one was good. Now, so outside of the parking, parking was finding the parking was horrible. Getting to the location, monogalai, because again, the last time I went to Hollywood, I went I wasn't driving. Somebody drove. My husband drove. So I didn't need to navigate anything. So getting there, I did get lost a little bit when I was supposed to go straight and I'm making a right. And yeah, so it took me an extra like couple minutes to get there. That was my fault. The parking thing, I did not like. 
I was looking forward to ballet. I was going to pay my $10 and call it a day, which end up being about the same anyways and actually it would have cost me less because I left my time was only two hours for the ten dollars where if I whereas if I had did valet I would have gotten to stay longer right that's fine though because we left at like 1 30 and the, the club supposed to lock off at two o'clock so that was fine um so covered parking directions we cover drink prices i saw a lot of people that i know and i love that for me <laughs> um Farrah saw a lot of you she know and i love that for her um travis said he was there but i guess i missed him because like literally when i posted that i was there he messaged me and said like bro i was just there and i'm like damn so i miss travis but i did see um i saw everybody else i don't know i can't think of anybody right now but i saw everybody else all right that was cool mm, my friend from high school carcel he was there with his girlfriend his girlfriend is so love her to pieces they were there she poured a shot in my mouth. <laughs> mm, I'm in love with her. If you're watching this, I'm in love with you. There's one tall girl there. Mm, mm, mm. She could have get it too. She did nice. She did tall and nice and shit good. Yeah. What else? Okay. The whole point of the video. So... The vibes was nice. The DJs DJed. Like, as soon as I walked in, I was at the bar. And I was just comfortable enough to, like, do my little, my little bubble, my little one and two and whatever, whatever. As the night progressed, I got to my second cup from there. The music was good. The vibes was good. Like, the energy was good. Like... It was really, it was a good time. It was a good vibe. It was good energy. The people, there was, nobody was stuck up. Nobody never tried to impress nobody. Nobody, nobody trying to like outdo nobody. Everybody was just nice. Like the energy, the vibe was just nice. Like I would go there again just for the vibe. You feel me? Like, yeah. Supporting Young Star was one thing. But like, it was a nice event. It was a good event. The energy, the vibes, it was good. Um, I left. I was supposed to meet one person at another party, Seduce Fridays. I was supposed to meet another person at Taboo. But baby, but at home, I eat McDonald's. So... Most soon, almost soon, but all in all, Aura was nice. Aura was nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was you finished my food? Make a bed. My gum bed. Oh, and the place is hot, your fuck. Okay, look here. See this? This not for happen. Look here. You see this? <laughs> that not for happen. The front is a good thing. The front tack down good. Say so, nah, move. We could have done this the whole night and to look like nothing not go on. But place it like your fuck because they had hookahs going in there. The hookah fuck up the place. And then they had a fire breather. They had a fire breather, fire dancer girls in there. I was crazy too. But yeah, place was nice. Place was nice. It was a nice vibes. And I got a cheeseburger with no onions, no pickles, and a and a fries. I got I ordered a small fry, but she gave me a medium fries because they were taking forever to to complete orders. But yeah. I'm just trying for a medium. I need to check my receipt. Whatever. Anyways, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Peace out. Peace face. Bye.